Okay. Um, I just want to answer some of the questions and it does relate to the year as well. So I thought I'd put the two together. Um, the first one is why can't I find my soulmate? And why are my relationships hard work? And I want someone to bring me happiness, etc., etc. Hi, Leah. Hi, Janine. Um, hi, Leah. Okay, firstly, uh, the year 2019 is a pig. So the pig is a travel star. It's actually not a romance flower. Yet on top of it does sit a hidden element, the yin earth, that is part of a romance flower, but it's on a hidden level. So what ends up happening is not bad things. So if things, the, how am I going to put this? If things are happening, then it's either your chart or your home. Because firstly, the, the pig this year is not in penalty and it's not in clash with any romance flowers, high rank. So it is not challenging any of the romance flowers. So, for instance, we've got a rabbit, you've got a rooster, you've got a horse, you've got a rat. The pig is not challenging any of them at all. So your relationships this year, are, it's all up to you, okay? It's back at you. All right? and that's what I'm trying to tell you. The other is, why can't I find my soulmate? Not everybody has a soulmate. And soulmates are not life partners. Okay. Hi, Lily. So that's what you've got to remember when you're looking at what the year is on a relationship thing. There are directions where you place flowers. Those flowers are your romance flower direction. Everybody has two Every, some people have one romance flowers and there are directions to actually do that, okay? So again, why are they hard work? Firstly, I, I'm not a relationship person. For me, you know, not it's, if it's, you know, the relationship's not uh, connecting, etc. I'm I am, I'm a build a bridge and get over it, yeah. I'm not going to sit there um, watching soppy movies, TV, eating lollies, ice cream, all that stuff. All right. So all I can say is from uh, the way I teach about relationships, uh, what did you learn about yourself? Not the other person, but you. What are the patterns that you do? Because I have, uh, I have family and I have friends who um, they say that it's a family residue or something like that, you know. Uh, you know, my parents didn't tell me they love me, this and that. Um, I don't know. That, I don't know. I don't really want to know. You guys know what I'm like. The thing is, there's a beginning, like everything, like what I teach, the feng shui, the pillars. There's always a beginning. There's always a middle where it's peaking. So, you know, the beginning is the flirting thing. Um, it's just that trigram of it as well. The middle is the peak of it. You know, it's uh, uh, lust, infatuation, that kind of thing. And then there's an ending. So the ending part of it can take you to another level and you keep going or it does cut it off, okay? And that is in the circle of life in what I teach. Again, why don't you just pretend you are that person and uh, you aren't that person. You're the friend of, of you and they're in that situation. What would you do? What would you say? There's your answer. Okay. What did you say, Lil? Soulmates are neither male or female and can be a soulmate from another lifetime. They may be a sister or brother. Correct. Yes. That's what we teach. It's called a Ewan. So it can be your child is your soulmate. Okay. That sort of thing. The other is relationship change or circumstances. So people in turn, which you as a person, will be different to him, to her, how you, uh, how you are, and, and that changes you. An animal changes you. All right. For instance, you're a very tolerant person. And let's say, let's just for argument say you 
sit on a dragon and then from seven to nine every night you are wicked okay <laughs> that kind of thing so that that we call that the dog from seven to nine but if that person that you have just met and you're having a relationship with or starting or whatever they have a dog then you know there's got to be some leeway here because from seven to nine every night you are already challenged but now you've chosen somebody that has that and what brought you together in the first place if it's so bad because there's so many other variables okay there's 60 different things that have brought you together uh, right it is nine year cycle no you're wrong right Oh, well, not in pillars, sorry. It might be in numerology and something else. In pillars, it's six. So in six, you know, let's say you're travelling today. In six days, you should come back, that kind of thing, okay? So that is six. But the thing is, it takes people another year to do something about it and they've named it the seven-year inch. That's it that six can be bad or it can be good depending on when you met this person or when you married this person and that's how it actually works so if you married somebody again let's say you married somebody on a dog day and you have a dragon then in six you're going to sit there thinking what have i done that is how the animals work you would be surprised what you can see in a chart okay so the other is some people have self-worth some people don't so then that takes it to another wicked level i guess of you know relationships hi judy cool so that's six let's say you met somebody today in six days there's your trigger you see what happens that sort of thing you met somebody tomorrow in six days from that yeah, I wouldn't meet somebody tomorrow though <laughs> to clash on the whole year. So that's a no-no. <laughs> All right, don't go out. <laughs> Sunday, don't go out. Go out tonight. <laughs> okay. Now, if a relationship is coming in this year, they will come in. Whether they're good or bad, it doesn't depend on, uh, you know, uh, if you met them on a good day or not. No. It depends on their animals with your animals. Plus, if you sleep in a negative energy, which uh, one of them is negative relationships, you know, uh, we call them affairs, not relationships, but one of the energies. So really you're just going out there having a, a fling, not a relationship, okay? And that is how it works. You, you know, I, I, I am very passionate about this because this is pillars this is feng shui and it tells you hi cat so again hi tim so again when what why are my relationships hard work why can't i find my soulmate just stop because if you are repeating a cycle then do something about it um i <laughs> i was watching something and it says marriages last as long as it takes you to organize dinner <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> so marriage or relationship, they are tricky because keep this in mind as well. When you decided to get married, you made a promise, you know, for better, for worse, sickness, health, or whatever your promises, whatever your things were. But you did not know about what's coming in your future. You did not know you were going to have 10 kids or you were going to have no kids. So that's the difference. You don't know what the future brings you. But if you know your chart, you know your pillars, you know, you know what is coming up and you are sleeping feng shui-wise in a good energy, then it helps you get through, okay? So for me, I don't know my birthday, but I've always lived in good homes or made sure my bedroom's been great, etc. and I balance it. That's it. That's all I can actually do can't do it for my part for my partners but i do it for myself so yeah i just i just walk away over the bridge done dusted 
that's it. Uh, the other is I want someone to make me happy. If you're not happy, someone's not going to come in and make you happy. And happiness, by the way, is inbuilt. It's part of your DNA. So find why you want, you know, what the trigger, not why you want. What's the trigger? Remember I talked about triggers in the last one. So anything can trigger that, all right? And that's it. Any questions? And plus we have become, some people have become tolerant and others aren't. So some people will tolerate, you know, somebody leaving the towel on the floor and others, that's the beginning of it. So again, you work out what are the patterns, what, do, what you know, you watch out for, what is the trigger? And then you either talk about it or out the door. That's how it, it seems to be today. Any questions? No questions? Was that too much? <laughs> no? All good. How good was today? How many of you were enlightened today? Yeah, it was that kind of a day, huh? All right. So have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. And that's it. I better double check. <laughs> oh. Oh, and and the other is, you know, the people that I help the most are the ones that, you know, slap you in the face. Well, actually, uh, the people that uh, help you the most, you help that, you know, there's a pattern here. So that's taking advantage so i don't i actually can't answer that for you guys um yeah if you if you're helping somebody so much it can actually be your chart it can be your destiny as well it can be your element it can be what you sit on the animal it's just self-sacrificing it's it's the doormat you know everybody just walks over the doormat everybody expects from this um that sort of thing so yeah just you know have Look at things. That's all. If someone leaves a towel, they're going to bow back on a bathroom floor. But that's me. I'm Hitler. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow and um, have a good night.